Hey guys, and it's Ice here. Welcome back to Let's Play Terraria. Thanks to user whose name I'm not going to pronounce, but I'll call him 42. He knows who he is, and if you've seen him before, then you know who he is as well. Thanks for pointing out that my demon wings actually negate the need to actually have um, a lucky horseshoe. They stop fall damage all by themselves, which is excellent. So I no longer have an obsidian horseshoe, like the mix between the, the obsidian skull and the lucky horseshoe. I now have the obsidian shield which is the whatever it's called shield I can't remember what kind of shield it's called and the obsidian skull so I've got immunity to knockback and in, in, immunity to fire blocks the rocket boots actually improve how high I can fly with the demon wings so I'm keeping those as well I've now got myself a warning philosopher's stone which allows me to I think it's a 50 second timer on the um, the potion cooldowns and I've got the brisk well, it's a cross necklace now. It increases the length of invincibility after taking damage. I've removed the the feral claws because obviously if I'm going to be taking on Skeletron today then there's no need for me to have too much extra melee damage because I'm going to be using the uh, the demonic mega shark. Oh the merchant has arrived. Excellent. Um, let me just make sure he's actually in the right place. I like to keep my crafter and my merchant, my crafter, when I say crafter I mean guide, my merchant and my guide down here so that I can always get quick and easy access to them. As you can see the um, the corruption is getting very close to the uh, beginning or to my base now, it's, it's literally right there. And as you saw before the hallowed is right up to my base on this side as well. So, um, I'll be waiting until around 7.30 as as it usual, as I always do, and we'll summon Skeletron Prime and see how it goes. Hopefully I can defeat him, if not, then it'll be a good laugh, I guess. So I'll see you in a moment. Well, it's coming up to half seven now, so I'm just waiting for the music change. going to switch out my gold watch. I do want to apologise yesterday. I think I was yelling a bit during the last boss fight because I had my music loud in my headset, so <laughs> I don't know if that showed across in the video too much, kind of hear me yelling. Um, so I'm about to buff up, summon Skeletron Prime. Hopefully we can do this. Um, dare say I'm a little bit nervous. Hopefully, whoa, holy cow, he will come all the way up here. Awesome. So let's just start shooting at him. Um, if I've got one hint for this boss, it's just dodge like hell. You can aim for his head. Aim mostly for his head. If you hit anything, as long as you hit something, it's alright, but aim for his head because you destroy the head, then you destroy everything, so watch out for that claw thing as well, because that, that will do a lot of damage. And all I can say is just dodge the best you can. You can use gravity potions, you can use your demon wings, use whatever you want to try and dodge him, but just jump around like crazy and keep moving, don't stop moving, um, and you should be fine with this boss. Just watch out for that claw hand that was just near me then. Um, hopefully everything else you should be able to dodge. I mean, his lasers are fairly easy to dodge, and I'll just reach the edge of my platform here, so let's fly up and... As long as I hear a ting-ting sound as I'm shooting, I'm quite happy. Um, I've got good potions. Another thing is, I don't think I mentioned this in the previous video, but if you make your platform, if you're making a platform to fight bosses on, if you make it out of wooden platforms, it's quite a good idea, because um, if you build it out of blocks, then if you're using me um, melee, if you use range, then your bullets will bounce off the blocks. If you use platforms, then your bullets will go right through, which allows you to fight enemies even if they're below the, the platform you've built. So basically, Skeletron Prime, just, just keep shooting at his head as best you can. And just dodge all of his attacks if you can. Okay, that laser thing is getting a bit closer. Let's shoot that a little bit. I don't know what that thing is. I think it's a saw blade or something. Some sort of thing. He's got a rocket launcher, this thing up there. That will shoot kind of massive bullets, but they're so easy to dodge, it's ridiculous. I think the most dangerous thing you've got to watch out for is, like, the saw blade and this hook thing, which will actually, like, fly at you from quite a distance, so just watch out for that thing. But apart from that, I think this is a fairly easy boss. Just, just keep running around, just keep shooting at him. And, um, he'll go down fairly quickly. He's about, he's a third of the way through his health now, I do believe. I don't think he regenerates any, so... Let's keep shooting, and he'll be down before you know it. So, again, fairly easy boss. Oh, it almost looked like he had legs then. This guy has got four arms. A bit of trivia for you. He's the only boss 
in the entire game to have five separate sections, as it were. I suppose you could argue that Eater of World, if you cut him into enough parts, has like lots of different body parts, but um, they're kind of connected. So this guy has five separate parts. He's got the most separate parts of any boss in the game. So four arms and a head. That's what I'm talking about. I think that is a sword blade he's attacking me with there. We'll just keep shooting at him. Shouldn't take too long. And then he should drop Soul of Fright with any luck. And we'll go pick that up and we'll go craft some cool stuff with it. Um, see what I've got, see what we can craft. Use the guide if he's still alive after this fight. Should should be. I don't think anyone's any part of his body's going far enough down to actually um, do any damage to my NPCs down there. I'm just gonna jump over him now. You can see those flashing like blue and gold ball things that he's firing out of that one rocket. They're easy enough to dodge. I don't think they do too much damage if they hit you. It's just that one claw you kind of want to watch out for. I haven't been hit by his head whilst he's spiky and spinning like that, so I don't actually know how much damage that does. I'm assuming it will do a lot. Like when the old skele Skeletron used to just spin his head at you, did quite a lot of damage like the, the Dungeon Keeper skeleton head would do. So just keep shooting at him. Don't know how many times I can stress that. Just jump around. <laughs> jump up, jump up and get down. Just keep dodging him. And he'll be dead before you know it. Really? I haven't taken too much, like, too many hits right now. I haven't taken too much damage. That laser thing just hit me for 16, but I'm not bothered. I've got my potions. I've got some pretty good buffs. Just rebuff myself because this fight's taking longer than two or three minutes. Um, get my defense back up. I suppose the hardest part of this boss and um, the twins boss is actually hitting him. So we've actually destroyed one of his arms. I'm not sure which one we've destroyed. I think we've destroyed the one with the saw on it. No, it's the one with the laser on we've just destroyed. So no more lasers from you, Mr. Skeletron Prime. But he's down to 8,000 health now, so not much longer for this boss fight. And really, there's not a lot to say. Just, just keep dodging and just keep shooting. As long as you hit some part of him. I mean, you'll eventually... I mean, I've been... My goal was to destroy his head first. I've already destroyed one of his arms, so if that happens, it happens. All it's going to do is make the boss fight easier. There's less stuff to dodge. And to be perfectly honest, his attacks are just so easy to dodge. I mean, if you see something coming at you, just move out the way of it. This arm is getting a bit close now, so just make sure you keep running, keep moving. Once an attack stops, like one of his arms stops flailing at you, then you can just head back in the opposite direction. You can run around, do what you want. So he's not got long to go now. Let's see if we can destroy this hand that's coming at me here. There we go. Come on, Skeletron. Put up a bit more of a fight than this. And um, I suppose just after this fight, I'll show you something. Ambush Frenzy requested. I'll quickly show that off and then we'll get back to crafting, I suppose. Come on, Skeletron. This is ridiculously easy. I don't know if there's going to be, you know, if there's going to be another update with more harder bosses. Hopefully new bosses instead of just old bosses but harder. But maybe they'll be a little bit more tricky than this. So we've destroyed two of his arms now, so it's, it's back to like an ordinary Skeletron looking kind of situation. He's got to shoot in the right direction, make sure you keep hitting him. And he's nearly dead, so a couple more hits. Okay, that's a 60 hit off of his head, so you do want to dodge that if you can. And there we go, Skeletron Prime has been defeated. So there we go. So just for you, Ambush Frenzy, here's me defeating the Destroyer with a wooden sword. What's that? Oh, you wanted me to do the entire fight with a wooden sword? Oh no, no way, I'm not doing that. Sorry. <laughs> So, seems like I've landed just outside of my house here. So we'll um, pick up the last of our things here. These items, all of these items I think I need. If I've got enough room for them, I might have to... Yeah, let me just dump the rest of these um, cursed bullets in here. Whoops, not those ones, these ones. So I used about just over half my ammo, so that took a thousand, two thousand, like just over two thousand five hundred shots I think, so effectively I guess that's around five thousand shots, 
So you do need a heck of a lot of ammo for him. Mainly because you're going to be missing him and um, he's got his arms protecting him. So a lot of shots that you do are just going to be bouncing right off of him. So I've already got some solar frights like before. I did a test run just to make sure I could beat him. And let's go do some crafting. L crafting O. So have a look what we can make. With our demonic, well, whatever, adamantite drill, cobalt drill, mithril drill, mithril chainsaw, adamantite chainsaw, an unpleasant whatever, cobalt chainsaw, we can make the hamdrax, which is a ham drill axe, or whatever. It actually does 200% um, pickaxe power, 110% axe power, and 85% hammer power. So there we go. And that's a pretty cool hamdrax. Again, this legendary molten ham axe is actually a better axe, because it's 150% axe power, and 70% hammer power, but all you really need is the Hamdrax and the legendary, well, the Pone Hammer that you get from the Wall of Flesh. I keep reading out the Reforge word. It doesn't really apply, as it were. So I might go ahead and sell that now, because I just don't need it. We can also make Gundnir, which is um, the, uh, the Cobalt Naganata, the Mithril Halberd, and the Adamantite Glaive, which is the hallowed level um, spear type weapon. And if we take our leggings off, we can craft the Hallowed Greaves, which gives us a complete set of Hallowed Armor. Now I know I'm zoomed out and you can't really see that too well, and you can see my wings on the back of it, which makes my helmet look like it's just as how bells hanging off the back of it, but that's what I look like. Um, I'm going to stick my ninja gear back on, so I've got that kind of blurred effect. So that gives us a whopping 73 defense, which I'm very happy with to be honest. And I'm pretty sure there's some other things I can craft if I grab some cobalt bars and mithril bars, we can make light discs. This is out of Soul of Light and Soul of Might, which drops from the Destroyer. I can't make my full set of five of these, but I can make four of them. If I just show them off here, I think it's a bit like the, um, the, I forget what it's called. It's like the boomerang or the thing you get from the jungle thing. The, the, I forget what it's called. But it's, it's, that's what it is effectively like, except you can fire four of them at once. And I'm assuming that they will just return to you. And they, they bounce off of stuff, so if I shoot it along this corridor, you can see they bounce along like crazy. So that might be a cool little weapon. It's also classed as melee damage, not ranged damage, so I'll be keeping those. Obviously I still want my godly Dow of Pow out somewhere. So if I just shuffle all those things along there. And just show you off the Gungeoneer. It's massive, this thing. It's absolutely huge. It's ridiculous. Well, that's what that is. So I don't know if I'll be using that, but I've got it anyway. Maybe I'll just show off the Hamdrill Axe. So here we are. We'll cut down a tree with it. Um, you can dig with it. And I've got an empty chest I can knock out. And you can hammer with it which is kind of like everything in one. It's like an awesome ultimate multi-tool. Now, I'm not sure if there's anything else left to craft. I could sell all this rubbish I've got now, make those into platforms, so I can kind of fix things as I'm running around, give myself little platforms to stand on. Um, I don't know what else there is to show off now. I want my tinkerer down there, I want my tinkerer up in one of these rooms with everyone else. So, effectively I guess, this is the end of Terraria. I've got my end of game gear, I'm really happy with all of this stuff, all of this stuff is um, warding. I think the only thing I need to do is, I don't know if I can reforge these things, or my hamdrax. I don't know where my goblin tinkerer actually is. It did say he just arrived and he went down there, so he might be, there he is some reason they like to spawn in this little area here. So I'm just going to see if I can reforge the light discs. I doubt I can because they're like stackable items. Reforge my Hamdrax to something. I guess it's got knockback so I should be able to put it up to either Godly I think or um, uh, Demonic I think and Gungeoneer I'll reforge that ridiculously high as well. So apart from that I think that's Terraria. Until the next update, where there's things to show off. Actually, that's a good point. I suppose I'll do one more video. We'll have a run around a small 
world, like a newly generated world, just to show off some of the new features that I've I've been missing out on playing on this on this map. And I guess that will be the end of my Terraria LP. Until updates, if there's an update, I'll do my best to try and show all the updates. I've got 108 soul of mines. I went pretty mental fighting the destroyer. I had to destroy it three times to get that little bit of footage um, for Ambush Frenzy, but it was fun to do, I guess. And until next time, I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Take care.